You damn right I'm talking shit. Lies, treachery, and deceit. These are just a few of the things on the table today. And the culprit? Kenny K.O. A known yet unknown YouTuber who just recently made his way to the top. But how, one might ask. According to one of my reliable sources, he used lies, treachery, and deceit to accomplish this. But before we dig into that, I want you to first watch this archive footage I have compiled of Kenny K.O. So like I said, she's gonna show up here in a second, if she does show up. Now wait a minute, let's unpack that. According to my reliable source, and don't worry, I'm not gonna leave you in the dark. In the description below is a link to my Facebook fan page, where you're gonna find a holographic description, just like that there, so you can read and follow along. But let's continue. Assuming you have that in front of you, it says, Heaven knew if she didn't show up, Kenny will crucify her on his page. Ruining her rep even more, Heba also paid his flight and hotel, which was close to $300. Now, as I said before, in the clip, Kenny K.O. made it seem as if he had no idea if Heba was going to show up or not. That not only did he know she was going to show up, but he knew that once he got off of his free flight, he had free room and board. Well, let's continue. 900 Now the clip you just saw was a clear example of deceit and trick editing done by Kenny K.O. That clip was taken after the two attempts of the wall sit by Heba Ali. Now, you might ask, what do you mean trick editing? He used that clip at the beginning of his video. You might ask why. I'll tell you why. To set the tone of the video. If you show an angry version of Heba Ali at the beginning of the video, it sets the pace for the viewer, you, the people, to believe that she showed up angry and pissed off at Kenny Kiyo. Now clearly this encounter was not all hugs and kisses between the two of them, but by him taking that clip of her at the end of those two attempts at the wall set and placing it at the beginning of the video, sets an angry tone for you, the people. More lies, more deceit, more treachery. Let's continue. Fuck this fucking channel. Fucking do this shit in front of him and all his fucking people. Ouch, damn bro. Like, I, I can understand you calling me out about, you know, me calling Heba Ali out, you know, the, the weird cycle that goes on there. But to call me out and then call out my people, my subscribers, like now you're making it personal, bro, and now I'm gonna make a vendetta to come out and get you. So my question to the people, as part of Kenny KO's vendetta to make a lopsided, untruthful video about Heba Ali in order to allegedly gain subscribers, is that part of Kenny KO's vendetta? Hmm. Let's continue. Now as you can see from that clip there, shit got real. Really real, really fast. Kenny Kale was approached, he was asked. Why would you make a video clearly lying? Why not come to me or to the person you have a problem with about their lift or whatever it may be and address them and ask, hey, can we do this together? Now, in that moment of being shook, you know they say in a moment of adversity, the real you comes out. The first thing Kenny K.O. did was, hey, push it off to the, to the subscribers. The, the people want to know, it's the people, it's the people. No, Kenny, let's be truthful. The bottom line is, you saw an opportunity here, just like every YouTuber who sees an opportunity to make a video, and you went with it, all right? Now let's be honest, let's not blame it on the people, the subscribers that you say yourself, you only wanna be 100% with. You're not being 100%, Kenny, not at all. Now I do wanna say this, there's a lot more to this whole situation. Now let's talk about this whole Instagram thing, again, 
Kenny Kayo, controlling the narrative of the video, made it seem like Heba Ali was embarrassed because she was called out by using fake weights and then took her own Instagram down. But in reality, Kenny Kayo's trolls went over to Heba Ali's account, flagged her account, then Instagram took her Instagram account down, not Heba Ali. Further proving that Kenny Kayo made his whole video to control the narrative, and why? To gain subscribers, at the expense of someone else's career. Now I want you all to pay attention to this major point. I provided with you all the screenshots between me and my reliable source and Kenny Kayo and Heba Ali. So clearly, he went into this situation knowing that she had an injury, but didn't put it in the video. Again, controlling the narrative, making sure that people saw this situation the way he wanted it to be seen. Now I believe it was his third video that Kenny Kayo posted about this Heba Ali thing, and he clearly says he didn't know about her injury until after the wall set. But clearly from the messages I've provided for you all here, he knew about the injuries. Point blank, he knew. Further proving my point that Kenny Kayo not only made this video to slander Heba Ali, but to gain YouTube subscribers. Now ask yourself this. Kenny Kayo says he prides himself on giving people the truth. Does this look like the truth to you? Did this situation look like Kenny Kayo was being 100% honest? Or was he using this Heba Ali situation for his own personal gain? Say my name, watch bitches come. 